Well, good evening, folks. Our reading tonight is 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 1 to 5. And as it's mainly addressed to ministers, to pastors, um, and it may seem that I'm praying for myself, uh, I'm going to use the prayers of the great Puritan writer Matthew Henry. Let's pray. Teach your ministers how they ought to behave in your house, which is the church of the living God. Let them never preach themselves, but always and only Christ Jesus the Lord. Inspire them to exert themselves so that, may, so that they may receive your approval for their work. Make them tireless laborers who will never need to feel ashamed since they handle your word of truth with precise accuracy. Make them mighty in the scriptures. Raise up people of God who have the competence that comes from being thoroughly equipped for every good work. In all things, let them be a model of good works. Let them not be corrupted in what they teach. Make them serious, sincere and well balanced in whatever they say, so they will never need to be contradicted. Convict them of the importance of devoting themselves altogether to the public reading of scriptures, to exhortation and to teaching, rather than being distracted by so many other things that are good in themselves. Show them repeatedly that they must give themselves over to prayer and the ministry of the word. Let them be absorbed in the few things critical to an effective ministry. Enable them to keep a close watch on themselves and their doctrine, for in practising constant self-scrutiny, they will save both themselves and the people who hear them. Put the word you want them to say in their mouths, so that they may speak boldly as they openly declare the mystery of the gospel. Let them speak out fearlessly as they ought to speak. Make every one of your preachers a capable minister of the new covenants. Let their ministry not focus on the letter engraved in stone which kills by its demands. Instead, let the minister in the spirit, the one who gives life, Lord, show mercy to your ministers so they can be faithful. Make them good examples to all believers by everything they say and do. Let their words and deeds manifest the generosity of love, the fullness of the Spirit, the consistency of faith, and the virtue of purity. Let these ministers of the new covenant that bear your vessels be fully consecrated as they offer service to you. Inscribe this declaration on their foreheads, holy to the Lord. Amen.